all right love buzz let's keep it going let's see what else you need to know what does the collective need to know holy spirit a current relationship something is meant to be learned a relationship is meant to be had there is a karmic cycle that is about to um appear this is the, now i'm gonna tell you right now your love life is about to change. It's also going to change your health or, ch or challenge you in your health, food and hunger. This is going to be a battle. Some of you all, you've been in a karmic cycle with a person that has tried to obstruct you from having a particular relationship. Others of you all, this is a person that has tried to obstruct your health and put you in a place of starvation. Now, with the food and hunger Food, with the food and hunger card, it's like a person wanting you to have strife in your finances, strife in, you know, you providing for your daily necessities so that you wouldn't be able to focus on love. A common relationship is something that, you know, the, a contract has to be, um, a contract has to be fulfilled. Some sort of understanding, some sort of lesson is meant to be learned here. This war and this battle could have been going on for a long time. This, some of you all are in, oh God, you're in a war with a biblical person. All right, communal living. Let's see. Let's break this down. What do you need to know about this karmic relationship? What's going on with this karmic relationship? The temperance card inverted. Something is about to speed up. Things were slowing down. So definitely, there, there's some sort of biblical attachment or doctrine. Oh my God. Somebody has used a biblical doctrine, the gospel, against your relationship, against your love life, against your health, against your finances your food your hunger your daily necessities this is some of you all are at war with a pastor a first lady some sort of religious figure this person right here has made this probably is coming from that uh, like a continuation from that first reading this person right here is a person that has likely declared you as a spiritual child um, spiritual daughter, spiritual son, and trying to command you to obey them. And what's happening, things that were slowing down for a long time, it's almost if you're just realizing why your relationships have been falling apart, why they not, why they haven't been going together. Also, why things haven't been working out in your life in general, because this person has been trying to obstruct you, obstruct justice, I'm hearing. But they're using a doctrine against you, a religious doctrine. So some of you all, you come from religion. You come from religion. Your pastor, your first lady, um, it could be an elder in the church. Something here is going on with church people. What's going on? And this is a person right here who did not want to see you get better mentally, emotionally, spiritually, religiously, and overall in life. This person right here was praying on many parts of your life. That's probably why the Holy Spirit got me up. Let me see what time it is. It's 3.57 a.m. February the 4th. Whenever this upload, you will get it. This is what's going on. This person has been using a doctrine against you, trying to hold you. It's like a person didn't want you to ascend. No, how dare you tap into um spirituality? How dare you grow? How dare you evolve? How dare you learn about common relationships? How dare you talk about twins? How dare you how dare you say you are a twin? Some of you all a spiritual. Oh, you may be more advanced than some leaders you left. Yep. Especially those of you all that resonate with the twin flame journey. You're more advanced than those people. Your calling, your life is meant to, it is just more, I can't explain it all right now. You're more advanced and you're more responsible. Give me the love life card. Give me the love life card. They've been using a doctrine against you. This person thought they were smart. Yep, the moon card. See right here? This is where your magic and your trickery was coming from. Some of you all, you need to, you need to really, 
See that how that car actually got authority figures? This person was trying to keep authority over you spirit, over you religiously, because if they were if they can keep you bound to this particular doctrine and you don't evolve, things don't work the same. Why? Because it's not the same agreement. So someone was trying to make you agree with them energetically and spiritually to tie you to something. And this person, this is somebody who was working hard. And this is this is reason the reason why you probably started paying attention to the small things. Like, why do I keep having warfare in my love life? Why does my health keep going up and down? Why am I always finding myself dealing with something where I don't know if my daily needs are going to be met? Or why am I craving certain foods? Something who was meant to make you crave, 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 eat, eat, eat. Because they didn't want you to focus on these particular relationships, your health, your your love life. This person, this person, or if this is a couple doing this to you, they were at war with you. They're at odds with you. Look at here. To make you string along penny pinch and get your true happiness this is a person that wanted to see you rejected in the spirit denied in the spirit and to make you self-sabotage this is somebody who thinks they are above doctrine um somebody here could be a philosopher as well somebody here could be um a, a educator someone here could be into like they could know things theologian they, they could have went to theologian school. They could also know like universal laws. They know spirit and they know spiritual spiritual things and religious things. They'll say they don't go together when they do, but they're just mad because you figured it out. Look here, because it puts you on the move. It ascends you. You have awoken. And that's the thing. This is somebody here who didn't want you to fi figure out this relationship. For some of you all here, I don't know why this is keep why this keeps coming up like this. You have like a pastor. Uh, leaders are against you. Leaders of a church. Leaders of religious communities. Or a bunch of religious people. But for some whoever you all are, these people were um trying to tie you to this doctrine. They use the gospel to try to obstruct you. They use the gospel to try to ban and bar you. They use the gospel to try to whip and beat you. They use the um, gospel to try to make you ignorant. This person, this, this person wanted you to be a slave. What's the health card? Give me one card on the health card. What I told you. The Knight of Wands, the Chariot card, and the page of pentacles going out um, sideways. This person was speaking against your health, big time, your sexual health and the health of your career, the health of your car. It's like they didn't want you to have longevity. You had a lot of verbal spells being spoken to you. Some of you are, if you've been getting like certain text messages from things and it just seeming kind of odd emails, it's a person sending you that to make you clam up and second guess yourself. It's all a tactic to make you obstruct and destruct self-destruction. They wanted you to head for self-destruction. If you left a church behind or if you left some religious people up behind, these people are at war with you. Give me the, uh, this, this is why you're craving this food too. This is why. Because they're making you want to eat. See how I'm up late tonight? I could feel something on the channel earlier. So the spirit just said, just keep putting off reading, work a third shift. That's what you do. This is the graveyard shift. So somebody is up this time of night, but they're doing witchcraft. They're doing verbal spells. They're praying against you. And they are also into black magic. And they're using a doctrine. See, uh, I'm not going to go all deep into that. But people don't realize how that witchcraft is right there in their Bible. Two and three are joined together, saying it's God, but they devils. What's the war? What's the battle? What's the war and what's the battle? Look here, the four of pentacles to make you lack, to make you feel without. Something here is also to make you feel ostracized, the um, ace of swords. And this is also a person here, I told you, they wanted you to procrastinate on how to move, on how to say, on what to do. Somebody here also, you could have discovered, not discovered, you could have started having like a speech impediment as well. You could have had like slow thinking to your brain. Something here was also meant to obstruct the way your lobes function, which is your brain, the movement of your brain. This person was trying to send you back. It's like, you know how they say, um, 
once an adult, twice a child, somebody who was trying to make you convert backwards, go back into something, like become sick, feeble, weak-minded, can't talk, don't know how to formulate or articulate your words. All these are verbal spells that were sent to you. This, if th this, these leaders are in a witchcraft, biblical witchcraft, biblical witchcraft. All right, what's this biblical here? We don't do this. See here? The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. They're tying you. This person right here wanted to put you in a covenant with them to make you come in agreement with them because it will take you. I'm going to be honest. The reason why you probably, for some of you all here, the religious, there's a religious and spiritual difference. And that something, somebody here just, somebody here knows something more about you than what you may know. Um, it could also be your twin as well. Something was meant to take you off a particular path. Like you being on this twin flame journey liberates you. And it has, it likely is working for your good. We all are going to experience spiritual warfare. But this again is a personal attack. And these people took you as a personal assignment. These are people who try to keep themselves as leaders in your life or decree and declare themselves as spiritual mothers, spiritual fathers. That stuff can be dangerous. Y'all got to be careful who you be calling these spiritual people and making mandates because they've made a spiritual mandate in your life that obstructs you from moving forward in a spiritual journey and keeps you bound to a religious doctrine. That's not religion, though. Because see here, you would have seen things would balance out. But their plan was for you to be stuck. All right, close this out. I told you, this was all because of your love for life. Some of you all, you're meant to be a power couple. You likely are meant to be some sort of leader here. And leaders you left lead of you leaders you separated from they know that about you because they may have seen something in the spirit they may have had a portion or a piece of your spiritual blueprint and they're trying to pull you back in they don't want you to go through this metamorphosis stage because it's going to change the way you live the way you think the way you act it's going to change everything around you but it's going to change you inside out they were trying to keep you at war and at odds with yourself to make you self-sabotage to self-destruct all right, you got Pisces, Libra, Aries, Pisces, and Pisces. Pisces came out three times, so you know I do the dice twice if the same sign comes out three times. This could also be against your children, curses being spoken against your children, Sagittarius. So it's like if a person can't get you, they use your child. <gasps> They use your child as a point of contact. Some of y'all check your friends, check, 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 check your children, adult children, young adult, check their friends, their associates, and see if they and see if they are socializing with people from a certain particular place that you all once uh collectively congregated at, fellowship and a worship at. There's an attack on your child because they can't get you. Because you're too strong in the spirit. You've already likely went through a certain metamorphosis stage. And see, their eye is on you, but it's just not effective as it once was. And the way that they, this is someone here that was trying to play on your wounds. Believe it or not, a lot of you all are being targeted because they don't want you to tap into this money. But it's your child they're going to use as a point of contact. Sagittarius. Libra, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn. Peace and blessing, great day. Namaste.